Oh, that's a little bit chilly water there. Oh, I'm probably going to pull up some walls. Well, that's crazy. Still nothing. Let's put this frog against this tree. I see a bunch of carp sitting up there. My guess is they wouldn't be this deep. So usually you can't fish this bridge just because it's uh, too windy and there's too many people usually. All right, let's uh, keep going. Let's go up more towards the main lake.
super clear water. You can probably see the bandito bug. You can see if it was sunnier out, I bet you I could see four or five foot down. All right, I've actually never been to this little cove either. Like I said, usually the water is probably two foot lower. It's eight foot here now, but during the summer, the grass is real bad in all these coves. So you can't really, I mean, you can get in here, but you're probably gonna have to like paddle out or I uh, almost fell over there. You're gonna have to either paddle out or maybe even get out of the boat and like swim with it for real. I don't think a trolling motor would get through the grass in uh, summer zone. I'm gonna throw up on, under this tree. These bass should be bedding here somewhere, but I don't really know where, because this lake gets, like all back here basically gets drained out in the winter. Don't be caught in that limb. Oh no. Dude, really? There we go. The lure didn't get caught on it, but the line, oh, they're so good. Lure didn't get caught, but the line uh, just like barely nicked it. Nicked the branch. Well, I'm just curious. Let's see if anyone takes that. Oh, getting bites. Getting bites like crazy. The yeah, water is only about I don't know, a foot and a half, starting from that. But basically, if you just draw a line from that bush over, it's like a foot and a half back there at most. I could probably go back there, but it's so clear. I don't see really anything of interest. I just seen something swimming in the water here. I couldn't tell if it was a carp or a bass. There's a bass that looked pretty big. Carp. Yeah, these are definitely gotta be carp. Still hitting all these banks in little coves. It's only three and a half foot right here, and I mean, it's like a foot back in there, so. It's my first time ever standing on the casting deck, like, and fishing. <laughs> Usually I have to stay in the back with the trolling motor, but it's calm right now. Back here in another little cove. This is more of like a finger actually. It goes back pretty far for this lake anyway. And uh, I've seen a bunch of panfish. I don't know what they are. White perch, bluegill, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. Let me look. It's only 10.30. I say only, but I've also been out here since like 5.30. Pitching a little bit. Let's turn this guy out. What did I do? There we go. I don't really see anything up there, but you never know. Could be hiding under that little bit of grass. I should probably stop coming to this lake. It is not good for fishing. I 
Oh, where are these bass going to be hiding if they're in here? I just had a bite. Had a bite, but didn't get it. Didn't even seem that big. I don't know. It might not have been a bass. All right, so I'm heading in. I didn't get anything. I had that one little nibble, or whatever it was in that frog, but that was it. No one else caught anything that I seen. And uh, GoPro's about to die. Trolling motor's gonna die. And I have not seen any sort of bass activity on this lake at all. Just all carp. Carp everywhere. But, uh, yep. So I just got home. Uh, the high was like 90 today. It was a it was a scorcher out there for being still May. Um, didn't catch any fish, unfortunately, but neither did anybody else that I talked to. I didn't even see, as I kept saying in the video, I didn't see any bass beds. Basically nothing, just carp. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get them next time. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends, Get somebody new into fishing, and I will see you later.